And nearly three months ago, India's ambitious attempt at making space history ended when its scientists lost communication with the Chandrayaan-2 spacecraft moments before it was supposed to touch down on the moon. After a months-long search, America's space agency, NASA, now says it has located the crash site, thanks to an amateur astronomer from India. Uh, DW reporter Peter Dahl is here with more. Welcome, Peter. So a space mystery solved by an amateur space detective. Yeah, it's just like, it's a really cool story. This is just a regular guy from India who basically managed to do what some of the world's leading space scientists couldn't. Um, his name is Shanmuka Subramanian. He's a 33-year-old uh, mechanical engineer and a self-proclaimed space nerd. So when the Indian Mission Control lost contact with the spacecraft, he decided to join the search and see if he could find it. Okay, so how did he do that? Well, he did all of it from his laptop, from his home. Uh, he scoured satellite images that were shared by NASA. Um, about a week after they were released, he tweeted what he believed to be the crash site, comparing an image of the targeted landing site before and after the spacecraft went missing. And so he flagged his findings to NASA, which then decided to take a closer look. Um, we should see the images right here. Again, they compared the before and after images of the supposed crash site and Lo and behold, if we zoom in a little bit, maybe you can see that he was spot on. You see it? Well, zoom in a bit more, there it is. It's that little <laughs> tiny white dot right there. So, I mean, really, talk about looking for a uh, needle in a haystack. That is some serious nerdery. <laughs> so, uh, he must be considered something of a, a hero right now. Yeah, I mean, especially in India, which had a lot riding on this lunar mission. Um, you know, purely as a space engineering feat, this would have put India in a very exclusive club. Only three other countries, uh, the US, China, and the former Soviet Union, have managed to pull off these soft landings on the moon. Um, India would have done that at a much lower cost than most other space missions, about $140 uh, million. That's even less than the budget of most Hollywood blockbusters, right? But they didn't, that's the point. They didn't, and, he even, and that's the point. It's because more than just the budget, it was also, this was an issue, it had become a matter of national pride, especially for Prime Minister Narendra Modi, his BJP Nationalist Hindu Party, who really have been trying to, to you know, uh, sell India as a, a big player on the, national, on the global scene that can, you know, hold its own. Um, so landing on the moon would really have been that crowning jewel. And you can imagine what a punch in the national gut it was when, when that failed. So for Modi, having an Indian, you know, help at least locate the, the crash site, that's been a way to save face, even though the mission, you know, failed. All right, uh, Peter Dahl, thank you for that. Thank you.